customizable toolbars in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. Today will be the last uh, major update to um, Adobe Illustrator CC 2019 that I'll discuss. And that is the ability to create sort of customizable toolbars. So this toolbar over here on the left is now fully customizable. And I'll show you what you do. You just click on these uh, set of ellipses here and it will show you everything that is possible that can go over into your toolbar. So these are all of the possible tools. If they're grayed out, they're already in your toolbar. Um, but I, you know, I never ever use any of these things right here. Um, I'm usually going to do things like this in another program. Um, so, and I don't usually use the slice tool either. I know if you do a little bit more web design stuff, you'll probably end up using that. Um, I just don't typically build websites in Illustrator. So, um, and then I never use the hand tool other than when I'm pressing spacebar myself and I never use the print tiling tool either. So things that I just don't ever use and I figure they shouldn't be cluttering up this. And some of these I rarely use, but every now and then I like to have a quick access to it. So I'm leaving it there, but it's really simple. If you don't want it there, you just click it and drag it over and you see it took away my selection tool. It's over here now. It's no longer grayed out, which means it's in the available tools, but it's not in my toolbar. If I click and drag and then hold, you'll see I can place it with other icons. So that's where you get the blue line all the way around the uh, symbol, or you can do above or below and you'll see it. There's a just a, th a thin line, a blue line. We'll show you that it'll place it above or below. So there it is. If you want to, <clears throat> there's advanced and basic, um, just these are standard default settings for the toolbar. I use advanced, but you're welcome to try basic if you like that. If you want to do a new toolbar, just click new toolbar, name it something like logo design, and then build it. So come in here and you'll probably need a selection tool. You might need a direct selection tool. Maybe you want to put these two together. You click and drag them together. So now they're like this, maybe. Um, you know, you may not need the rest of these. You'll probably need a pen tool. Uh, you may not need these because you may know plus and minus and you know, you don't need to go over and grab that. So maybe you just don't mess with that point. Um, you know, maybe you just grab a line segment tool and, and get some shape tools in here. Maybe we group these all together. You can grab multiples, by the way, shift clicking or control click to grab multiples. Bring them up here. Flare tool is rarely used, so maybe don't mess with it. Um, stuff like that. You know, maybe that's all. You, maybe that's it. Don't you don't need any of the rest of these, and you say I'm done. And that is your very basic um, logo uh, tool toolkit or something. I think you'd probably put in text in there as well. You probably need to have a lot of this stuff in here. We'll just add all of it. Boom. But something like that might be handy just to say, uh, you know, if you if you know you're not going to need the other ones. Um, and then you can manage your toolbars in here. You can come in and change them or delete them or what have you. If you want to open your new toolbars, you come up to Window, Toolbars, and you'll have your various new ones set up here. Now, these are going to be the defaults, and these will, these will be the ones that you uh, customize and make yourself. So... Let me know if that's helpful to you guys, if you think you're going to end up using um, the customizable toolbar feature. And um, like, subscribe, share, do all that, and I will see you guys in the next video.